Hi, in this episode, I'd like to talk about how to manage for trust. Because there's a huge trust deficit at the moment in many organizations and between many teams and leadership or teams and their manager. So these are some of the things that you can do based on the work of Dr. Paul Zak, a neuroscientist, who actually discovered that one of the core and most fundamental things that helps teams be successful is the amount of ox oxytocin that can be produced. Oxytocin is a brain chemical that gets produced when there's more trust. So when there's a high level of trust within the team, they're more collaborative, more innovative, more willing to accept and take on board difficult challenges and be high performing. So what are some of the things that you need to do as a manager? Well, he gives eight key factors and I'll go through them really quickly for you. It's recognize excellence, help people to know what good looks like and recognize excellence frequently, as frequently as you can. Induce challenge stress. Help people to know that there's a challenge, what specifically the challenge is, so that they get all fired up about it, and it has to be achievable. He says it's really important that the challenges that you give your people are actually achievable. Give discretion. Where possible, let people make their own decisions about the way that they're going to address the particular challenge or achieve a specific goal. Next, enable job crafting. Help people to build and craft their job around their strengths so they're playing to their strengths and being the best they can be at work. But that also means holding them accountable for the results that they're producing. Share information and share it frequently. The organizations that share information the most frequently have the largest amount of trust within them. Build relationships. And he said, build them intentionally. Show people that you care. Show people you're interested in them, their development, their aspirations, and what they're interested in and facilitate whole person growth. Let people know that you want them to develop as a person, as an individual, to be the best that they can possibly be. And it's not just about skills on the job, it's about becoming a better person. And show vulnerability. Let people know that you also are human, that you have your foibles, and there's some things that you don't get right all the time, but also that you're credible and you let people know that you are able to be open to ideas and new ways of thinking. So when it comes to trust, Stay curious.